Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to be making hot bars, uh, as you can see at the bottom, and we can use these to pick up items and then use them, for example, in a key and door system. Um, so this will sort of be two parts. The first part will be how to make the hot bar, add and remove items from it. Um, and then the second part, I'll show you how to apply it to this sort of exact key and door system I've got here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so to, in this first part, we'll make the toolbar and add and remove items. So the first thing we're going to do is, oh, I've already got it here, but you go into extensions and you'll get the unsigned, I'll put this in the description, uh, this extension here, unsigned Arduino slash inventory, and I'll put that in the description so you can get it pretty easily. Um, just copy paste it in and yep, you'll get that. So here's our inventory extension and this is how our hotbars are going to work. So the first thing we'll do is make a function and we'll call this create toolbar. I can't type. Create toolbar. And what this function will do is just put the toolbar in the bottom corner of the screen. So if we go into inventory, scroll down and get this set toolbar to. Take that in. And we're just going to set it to an empty array. And you can choose the maximum amount of items. I'm just going to put three because three little ones in the corner there looks quite nice. And we'll drag this function into our on start. And there's our toolbar. So it's got our three sections here. Um, you'll notice that the first one is highlighted yellow. To change that, we're going to go into inventory and get this selected index. And we'll set that to negative one. And now we don't have that highlighted yellow. Start. Um, the next step is to put it where we want it to be. So I want it in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to go into sprites, scroll down, and get oh, hit my sprite x to 4. And we'll change it to toolbar. Hit toolbar x to 4. And oh, sorry, set toolbar left to 4. And set toolbar bottom to we want it in the bottom left so 116 so it's just the screen is 120 so we want it to be four up from the bottom so there we are we're placing it in the bottom corner of the screen here next is we're going to set um, my uh, toolbar set toolbar scroll down in here to depth to 100 and the last step for this one, down to this one here, the auto destroy, grab that out and change this to relative to camera and switch that on. Make sure it's your toolbar you're sitting here. So this is our extension to our function to create the toolbar in the corner here. So we've got set the toolbar with max items three, set the index to negative one, just so it doesn't select anything. Then we're placing it in the corner, putting it on the top, and making sure it moves with the camera now. Um, our next step is to make a function to add items. So if we go down to functions again, we'll call this one add item. And we're going to have to add a text one called name and an image called image. There we are. So to add an item to our toolbar, in arrays, we get add value to end. And where it says list, we're going to get this toolbar get items. So this is just to say add it to the toolbar. That's where we're adding it to. And then we're going to add a value. And in inventory, we'll get this 
uh, wherever it is. Ah, this create item with name, name, and this for the image. There we are. Now to remove an item, we're going to need two functions. Um, one is going to be to find what slot the item is in, and the second one will be to remove it. So we'll make our one to find it, so we'll call this find value, and we'll just need a text in here called name. So we're going to search through our toolbar for an item that has the same name as the one we want to delete, and that's how we'll remove it. So in here we're going to go into loops, and for element value of toolbar get items, so for each item in the toolbar, this if block and this text equals one here. If name, oh wait, sorry. If item, uh, item value, if the name of the item is the same as the name that we want to delete. Oh, sorry. So if the name of the item is the same as the item we want to delete, then in functions return, we will return in, in arrays, go down to the bottom, find index off, and we'll go Toolbar get items instead of list find index of value. And then just down the bottom, we're going to need to return negative one. So our block of code should look like this. So for every item in the toolbar, if the item has the same name as the one we want to delete, then we'll send the location of that item back. And then this is just to make sure it has sort of a way to complete itself if nothing happens. The last thing we're going to do is make a new function called remove item with a name. And the other one, just add a text with name. And in here, we're going to go arrays remove value at and then instead of list again we'll just need this toolbar get items remove value at and then here we call our find value function and then name and the last thing i forgot to do is just in this inventory there's this toolbar fourth redraw Put that at the bottom of both of your add and remove ones. This is just to make sure the toolbar refreshes itself and your item actually appears there. So there we are. We've got our toolbar created and some functions to add, find, and remove items. Um, just the important thing to remember is when you call these, so when we call our add item function, you need to put the name of your item in here, like red key, and then a picture for it. And if you want to remove the red key, you have to type it the exact same as this one. So if we call remove item, you'd have to type red key with the same capitals and everything like that. Nothing can be different where it won't find the item. Um, and I'll show you how to use these properly in the next part of this, which will be a key indoor system. Um, yeah, so see you soon.